Hey guys, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Two Set Violin. You might recognize who's here. Oppa. Oppa Hyung. Oppa. Alright, so you guys might know Hyung from our Pro vs Beginner Cello and Learning Cello One Hour. He's back again, but this time he has cello recommendations that you guys need to hear. Mm, time to explore the world of cello game. So the, the first one I got is the Le Signe. <laughs> <laughs> The Signe by, by Tusset. Oh. Yeah, Le Signe with the, with the John Williams conducting actually in this video. And the uh, Yo-Yo Ma. Why, why, why did you choose this recording? Well, I think this is like one of the you know best recordings ever made, and also you know normally it's um, played with just cello and piano, which is the original form, of course, or cello and harp sometimes. But this is actually cello and harp and orchestra, which makes it even more grand. Oh. And of course, it's a Yo Yo Ma, you know, the, the best cellist. He looks really young oh. here. Yeah. That was a very definitive um, claim. Yeah, the best cellist. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. One of the best cellists. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, all the cellists out there are gonna get in a debate. Actually, I want to ask, why Why do you think Yo Yo Ma is one of the best cellists? I mean, obviously he's one of the most famous, but... Well, I've played with a lot of different professional cellists, but in, in the orchestra and also like duets, ensembles. But the way he plays is very much like storytelling. Doesn't seem like he's having any technical difficulty. And when we see a lot of cellists playing, there's always a bit of a bit of struggle, you know, when when they play. But when you see Yoyama playing, it's just so easy, just so flawless. Just music just comes out of him. That doesn't seem like he's actually playing cello. It seems like he's talking, talking through the cello. Yeah, he looks really into it <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's very expressive both in the music and his and his face, face. as well <laughs> and his face well that's one of the I guess most important part of the performance too the face and that's a bit of a meme in the classical world to like copy Yo-Yo Ma's like expressions because he's so expressive but he does sound amazing here oh he does sound amazing yeah Yo-Yo Ma your mama <laughs> the next one Brad you've played it I've played it on the cello <laughs> On the cello, you have played play this piece. Dude, I didn't know my career was that epic. Is that the cello's name? Trutsmok? It's a Scandinavian one. I have no idea how to say it. Trutsmok? I heard of him. Yeah, I know him too. Yeah, and he plays on a nice, nice Montagnana too. Is that the cello? Montagnana. 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 How much are those cellos? I'm sure it's like over 10 million, I'm sure. Holy Your mama. I'm not sure. I've never even touched it. I've never even seen one in person before. Oi, your mama touched your Montiana. Oh! <laughs> your mama be hiding. <laughs> You're so immature. Oh, we're not even talking about music. Yeah, it's just good vibes. Yeah. That was like, it was so, good. so much energy and so lyrical. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's why I chose this re uh, recording. As you also felt it, like we were kind of you know, going along with the music, with feeling the beat and the groove. Um, it's got that, it's got the useful energy from um, Haydn's 
early 30s because this piece was written when he was in 31, 32, I think. And especially this movement's got that energy into it. Mm. And I think this recording portrays that energy so well. And also the, the first movement is the very famous, you know, the dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, yeah. the very famous um, energetic. The second movement is very intensely lyrical. And this last movement actually has both qualities in within it. Um, even though it's very fast piece, as you said, it's very lyrical at the same time too. Mm. Well, he plays amazingly up there. I wish I could play like him. But you play epic. I just remember back in um, Youth Orchestra days, we had the competition. And any time a cellist came in, well, not any time, but they often play one of the hiding. Yeah, so it's nice. like such yeah. a staple piece. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because because we only have two classical cello concertos. Well, we only have like four, if you think about it. Three Mozarts and Beethoven, if you want to yeah, count it classical. Yeah. Did Mozart write anything for cello? Nothing. Wow! So I had to settle for hiding. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next video. Next one. Ooh! Let's go. Who is this guy? Bilisma. Bilsma. Bilsma. Fine. <laughs> what? Do you know why they're laughing? Uh, it's a cello. Is it a spike thing? No, it's got multiple strings. Dude, it's multiple got strings. five. What the? Five strings. <clears throat> So this is the Bach cello oh. suite num number six. It was written for five. Right. Written five string. Five string cello, yeah. So he's and he's using the piccolo cello, a little bit smaller, so that the E high E string speaks well. Wow. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. Have you played it on a five string cello before? I've never actually touched five string cello. I was actually thinking to get one because this piece is impossible to play on four string cello. But how? So how do normal people play it? Well, just a lot of thumb positions. Oh, okay. So it's actually easier to play on the five strings. Oh, much easier, I think. Oh, I, I, I haven't played it, but I, I'm. I guess it's much easier. So why why did you pick this particular recording? It's because it's one of my actually favorite movement in the whole Bach suite. There are, um, I think, 36 movements. And this is actually my favorite movement in the whole piece. Why is that your favorite movement? I think I just like it. I used to actually, when I first started playing cello, I used to fall asleep while listening to this piece. <laughs> like, like literally every single night. It's so nerdy thing to do. Would you say this is one of your favorite interpretations? D favorite. Ooh. Interpretation. Can you tell us a little bit why you think it's your favorite interpretation? But this, this recording has more... I guess it's more sincere in, in like in a way. And if you look at his face, very sincere too. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the face. Next video. Something different. Nice. Hey. Whoa. Dude. Man, there was so much technique, new technique I haven't seen before. Yeah. Guitar gang step aside. Yeah. Cello gang <laughs> is here to shred some. Like, he, it's so much energy, like... Yeah, I know. Well, I think I think, I think think he's actually all about that. He's the composer himself. Oh, he's oh. a composer? His name is Mark Summer. He's the cellist of the, the string quartet called Turtle Island String Quartet. Save mm -hmm. the turtles. Yeah, save the turtles. <laughs> Saving the turtles. They're the, they're the jazz quartet. I see. Oh, how would you describe this uh, genre of music? Jazz, classical, I guess. Well, I'm, it's got a bit of classical, you know, side to it too. And I think this piece is a very good piece for purely classically trained cellist into a jazz world. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, this was the first jazz, jazz cello piece I've ever heard. And I really got into it. I played it all the time. I still play it as an encore whenever I play concertos or recitals. I think you heard it, Brett, when I, when I played it. I think you came Oh and yeah, you did an play an encore, yeah. And what's this piece? I totally <laughs> forgot. forgot. <laughs>
I remember. I remember. I love music that challenges and broadens the mind of、mm-hmm. people. I mean, I'm sure people watching this, since there's probably people from all different backgrounds, but I know、mm-hmm. when you study classical music in like a music university, it's easy to just see that narrow. Path of like yeah the Haydn,、yeah. Mozart, Beethoven,、yeah. Mendelssohn.、Yeah. We forget there's there's so much more out there. All these other ways to express and like all the、exactly. tech all the techniques he showed, so Ponte and he used a, a lot of those jazz guitarist techniques too. Oh really? Like, like and the slapping, like、oh, the, yeah. the, the slapping, slapping and the pizzicato, harmonic pits too. Your mama like that. <laughs> I just have to throw one in every single video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for some sadness. GG, am I gonna cry? That was like next level. That was so good. It's so good. Yeah, the sound, the expression, just everything is there. And keep going. Just... Yeah. Have you guys heard the whole piece? As a, do, have you heard this piece before? I've listened to it, but not intently. Like just playing on YouTube in the background yeah, yeah. type of thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> as a cellist, as a soloist, you can't hear yourself because the the orchestra part is so huge. Yeah. And the and as a soloist, the the projection, the balance is always the problem for this、yeah. piece. And this is like the only moment when cello is just singing, singing, singing. And this is the last movement of the piece too. This is called the death of Don Quixote, and he dies. And there we got the cello. The Don Quixote is crying. Oh, that's so sad.、Damn. What do you think about in this recording?、Um, Rostropovich is playing. It's superb. It's like legendary playing. Yeah, he's a legendary、yeah. cellist too, right? Yeah. yeah, and and especially this recording is just the top. Did that Rostropovich learn like a concerto in two days on the train or something? Oh, I didn't know. What's the story? I heard from my old Russian teacher. I forget the details. I think it was with Prokofiev, and they were on the train. The、trip. cello concerto, you mean? Yes. No, I think, in no? two days. Or Shostakovich? No, I think it's Prokofiev. I can't remember. Some cello concerto, and then. They were just like drinking on the whole ride, as Russians do, you know the stereotype. And apparently, the guy was like, "Oh, I should probably look at the concerto now." And the composer was like, "What? You haven't learned it?" He said,、like, "Nah, it's fine." And it took like two days, and he learned it. Of course. Yep. Well, that's the legend, anyway. Yeah. Sounds like us. Yeah. <laughs> Two days is too much for me, man. I, I rock up on the first rehearsal. Now rock、Sorry. up on the cartridge. Yeah, yeah, like that's always my nightmare, though. Always my nightmare. I just have like nightmares. Like I'm at the concert and it's like, oh shit, I haven't learned my part. I've done it once. A solo concert? Nah, an nah. orchestra.、Yeah. I solo. I sight read a concert once. Ah, never know which one it was. <laughs> Guys, did you enjoy some of these epic cello pieces? If you never heard it, we encourage you to check it out.、Gotcha. Thanks to Kyung for recommending us these. Cello pieces. Thank you, guys. Hyang oppa, hyang oppa. Guys, if you like this, hit the like button, share it, and、yeah. if you guys like it, we'll get hyang oppa in for part two. Exactly. How do you say subscribe in Korean? Korean. Good on. Good on. Good on. Good on. Yeah. Good on. Wow.